It is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by Coach Jim Gasso, who has been named the new head softball coach at Mid-America Christian University. Coach, congratulations on the new gig. A softball coach, long time associated with softball, and, and now a new opportunity there in South Oklahoma City. Talk about the new gig. Thank you, Joey. I really appreciate you. Um, well, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about this opportunity. Um, you know, in, in not in my wildest dreams, but I would – you know, be doing this, but you know, something came across, uh, and and uh, you know, I had been praying about it for a, a while, and you know, how, how to um, use my time that I have left on this earth to continue to influence you know, uh, the student athletes that I've been uh, working my entire career, and. Um, so, man, what a great opportunity that that I've received at uh, at MacU to be able to do that. It's it's it feels it feels everything that I've been looking for, and uh, and that's you know, uh, coaching a sport, and teaching them how to become the disciples for and and uh, spreading the gospel, and the, the the things that I love to do, and that's you know, coaching. And sharing the gospel. That's that's really exciting, Coach. And I and I, and I can can see just uh, that that you're pleased with this opportunity. I mean, you can tell, and I, I really appreciate that to be a part of the the Mid America University Christian Softball Program now, and and it's had a lot of success. But in in recent years, in the last decade, a number of thirty win seasons, and the last three years alone, 111 55. That's the record. Uh, win-loss record there with two trips to the NCCAA semifinals and a national championship a couple of years ago as well. So can you talk about what this program means then from the softball perspective? Yeah, you know, they've, they've had some great success, and I uh, would like to continue, uh, you know, what, what's been built. And, you know, we're going we're gonna to work hard. We're going to uh, be able to focus on the little things even more. Uh, the things that we need to continue to to get better at, and just challenging them uh, of, of being the best that they can be, and uh, not leaving anything uh, untouched and turned over, because you know the the, the athlete ha has to understand that there's there's so many failures in this game, and that's okay, but uh, you know uh, uh, the the more they fail at practice, the better we're going to be, and so practice for me is. Like I told the players, the practices are for the coaches and the games are for the players. So at practice, they're going to they're gonna know about the work ethic I want. They're going to know about the adjustments they need to make. They're going to know how to fix things. They're going to know how to mentally challenge themselves and physically and be able to make uh, adjustments on the spot. And so when we go to the games, all I get to do is just watch them perform where I just – Man, I'm just watching him play, and that's it. <laughs> well, Coach, then uh, that's really interesting to hear. And talking about your coaching style, let's let's bring in something else that uh, was announced a little bit earlier this week that Kilani Ricketts was going to be one of your assistant coaches, and you bring her in. I think it can be stated without hyperbole, Coach, that uh, she is one of the greatest softball players ever. A former University of Oklahoma standout, national champion as well, professional softball player, has her own softball business as well. Talk about bringing in Kelani Ricketts then to be a part of this program and work with you. Yeah, it, Kelani Ricketts, Tumini Vow, it's her name, her married name. <laughs> but yes, uh, you know, I, I'm so fortunate to have someone like her. Yeah, you're right, Kelani is, in my opinion, uh, one of the best pitchers that ever come out of Oklahoma. Um, I think she's one of the best pitchers in the nation uh, when when she was competing. And but you know what? Uh, more importantly, she she won two Honda Project Awards. When, you know, while she played, and those awards, the the one that the year that she got it, um, you know, that's given to the best female athlete of all sports. So it's just not softball, you know? And so, you know, I look at that award that she received, and then I looked at, you know, like the OU, you know, football Heisman Trophy winners. You know, great outstanding achievement, yes. 
but those those players, you know, were for the sport of football only. You know, so Kalani, I think her award is means more, and I hope that someday that they're going to build a statue of her at the new field. You know, the you love field. I, I think that that's you know she's warned that you know because of, of of what she has accomplished, and so I hope I hope that that happens. But you know, uh, man. I was just, uh, you know, lucky that that she lives in in Oklahoma, it's close to her house, um, and she's still competing. You know, she's she's playing for the getting ready to play for the Spark, um, and um, you know she's got her own uh, 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 academy of, of pitching, um, and so she's doing very very well. And uh, you know, my my connection with her has been for a long time. We've been connected. I know her family very well. Um, and so, man, when this opportunity came up, um, she was my first, my first thought that came into my mind. Uh, and, uh, man, I, I called her right away and, and we, and we talked and, and, uh, when she said, okay, I, I was delighted. So yeah, I'm looking forward to her being our pitching coach. And then, you know, the, her, our, our pitchers are so going to be so much, so much coached up. And and they're gonna you know get a lot of Kalani's wisdom and uh, her her techniques and so forth. But uh, you know Kalani is, is, is just can't wait to to meet up with her pitcher. So I'm excited about that. Well, uh, this is this is gonna be a power packed coaching staff as we're talking right now with Jim Gasso, the new head softball coach at Mid America Christian University here on the Summit on Midwest Sports Net. And I encourage you please continue to enjoy the videos here, subscribe to the channel. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Uh, coach, as uh, you are coming into this opportunity, I want to read a quote to you from the release announcing you as the new head coach. Uh, Mac U has an exceptional softball program, and I look forward to extending the tradition of its of excellence. Most importantly, I'm excited and blessed to use this sport as a platform for ministry. You alluded to that at the outset, Coach. Can you talk about that a little further? Yeah, you know, I, I want to really emphasize to our players that what's our our purpose. You know, our purpose actually is is to win games, yeah, and I totally get that and everything else, and they just like they get it. You know, they've been playing since they're what seven years old, most of them, and and so now that now that they're they're uh, you know in college and, and playing the the sport that they love to do, um, there's also an alternative motive that we we should have, and coming to a Christian university, um, we should, in my opinion, uh, be examples of that, and so you know like like. When Jesus was on the cross, and he and before he went to heaven, and he said, "Share the gospel to as many people as you can," you know that that's our duty. And so I, I want to uh, make sure that I do everything in my power when I coach these young women that they're going to be not only great softball players but great disciples too, ready to share the word with as many people as they can because they're going to have the platform, the ability. To do that, and so when we go play a game, I, I'm hoping that that we can maybe stop off at a at a, a, a local high school or something, and just you know talk and sh- and share with them, and and um, you know do things like that, and and then amongst ourselves first, you know, is holding ourselves accountable to to being Christian women, Christian people, and you know what what we have to do to get that personal relationship going on a daily basis that, that we wake up and, and live in this, this, this world that we live in, that we know that our battles that we have to fight is a supernatural battle. And we got to prepare ourselves just like we would prepare ourselves in the game for practice and so forth. So that, that's, that's what we want to be able to share and teach and help. Coach, that's, that is great to hear. I, I really appreciate that aspect of, of what you are bringing then to the table in this new position. I, I want to talk about something else really quickly, and I, I think some folks would think I've, I've buried the lead by waiting this long to talk about the fact that, that you do have a high-profile connection, uh, one that is very large in, in the, the college softball world. Of course, you're married to Coach Patty Casco, Gasso, excuse me. 
who is the head softball coach at the University of Oklahoma. And today, we're going to get this online. Today, the Sooners are looking to win their 48th consecutive game, which would be a Division I record, make it back to the College World Series again, defend the two times that they have won the national championship, trying to, to make it three in a row. Oh, and by the way, it's uh, Coach Patty Gasso's birthday today, too, so happy birthday to Coach Gasso. Talk about that and, and uh, what the Sooners are trying to do then today and pick up another victory. Yeah, you know, um, this this team is – it's. Um... Man, they're they're outstanding. They're, these these women that are playing, uh, it, you know, you you don't have to tell them anything twice. You know, they know what they want. They know what they want to achieve. They know the work that they have to put in. Um, and sometimes they just want to be left alone. They they're ready to play, and they and they've been working hard. You know, uh, amongst themselves, the competition just to get on the field is, is it's very competitive. And so they know that they, you have to be competitive. They know that they have to be on point. Uh, they know that they, you know, they got to work extra. They got to be ready to make adjustments. And, um, and th they've been doing that all year. And so as they approach their the Super Regional, um, and they, they're, they're ready, you know. And, and so the, nothing surprises them, uh, man. But I, I know they're, they're in for a dogfight. Clemson is a, a good program. And um, but but they're they're, they're ready and, and so they know that no excuses and and they're ready to play so uh, hopefully that everything that they've done uh, will pay off which I, I know that's it, it does and it's going to pay off because you know that's the way it, the blue collar type athletes work and uh, so yeah um, we I, I think that uh, if everything hits on, on their cylinders. Uh, that they should be they're going to be successful but it's because of the work that they put on everything that they've done up to this point you know it, it has meant something for them well i look forward to seeing this play out i know you're going to uh, watch that game here in just a little a little bit later on today and and uh, success then to the sooners and coach patty gasso who uh you know as you talked about the hard work who also uh, shares your thoughts ab about ministry coming with the position as well. And, and I really appreciate that from her. Coach, as we wrap up our time then, uh, you've talked about a few things along the way and, and practice and hard work. You've mentioned all of these things. So when next spring rolls around and fans come out to watch Mackey softball, what, what, do you, what should they expect to see then on the field as a result of all these things together? Um, I, I hope that we can uh... – Continue to play the way they're supposed to play. We're going to put out a good product, one that that's competitive, one that's uh, it's going to, you know, they're going to play their best to their ability. And if we happen to win, it's because you know we we, we put in the correct work. And if we didn't, uh, it's because they were better than us. And so we're just going to uh, uh, regroup, reset, and go after it again. And, and that's being competitive means being competitive all the time. And yes, you know, you know, it's it, it's kind of impossible to, to try and win every game, but we're going to try. We're going to try our best. And that's all I we're, that you know when they see us is that that we're giving our best and we have a good product on the field with with strong God friend uh, women that we're going to have on our team. Coach Jim Gasso, it has been a privilege to get to visit with you today. Thank you so much for taking time with us here on the summit. And uh, we will follow the Evangels coming into the spring, next spring, under your tutelage. God bless you, sir. And thank you again. Thanks for being on the program with us today. Thank you, Joey. And you have a great day today, okay?